On the previous video, I introduced you to the concept of a North Star KPI. A North Star KPI, if you remember, it was a KPI that gave value to the customer and they gave value to the company. Good predictor of future growth, hopefully, if you do it correctly. And I mentioned in the video that a very, very important thing was that the North Star KPI is a leading KPI. And now I ask you, do you know the difference between leading and lagging KPIs? Would you like me to make a video? And here it is. Okay, so you can divide KPIs in two groups. You can say KPIs are leading and lagging. Let's start with the lagging one, because I think that's the one that we are more used to. Lagging KPIs are traditional finance KPIs. So what is the revenue what was the revenue? What was our margins? What was our profit? What was our... So it is looking back at what happened and reporting on it. A leading KPI is a little bit different. So it still it measures what is happening, but it's measuring things that hopefully would be a good predictors of what could happen in the future. And obviously the best way to understand these things is with examples. So Let's put an example about Netflix. You know, Netflix is in hot waters now because they're losing a lot of subscribers. After the, you know, during the pandemic, they grew, grew, grew like crazy. And now people are dropping off the platform. So a lagging indicator for Netflix are, you know, what we talked about, the traditional financial indicators, like the revenue, the subscriber base, how many subscribers, margins, that kind of stuff. So you, I'm sure that you understand those concepts very, very well because they are used everywhere. Now, what would be a leading indicator for Netflix? So a possible leading indicator or a set of indicators, more often than not, is more than one. For Netflix, it could be the average movie rating or the median. So you would go and see, okay, Netflix had had ratings of an average of four stars, and now they are dropping to three, 2.5. That would be a huge warning if that, you know, that score would go down. If you compare these together with the MPS score, you know, MPS score is when companies ask you how likely would you be to recommend your service, is a very, very well-known score that measures customer satisfaction. So if those two would go down, I think that it would be a good indicator that people are not happy with the platform and with the content, and probably they will unsubscribe. So even though they haven't unsubscribed yet, the fact that they are giving low scores on such important key metrics would probably mean that the subscription is going to go down at some point unless they can reverse it on time. And that is an example of a leading indicator. It's something that is happening now, but could have an impact in the future, in the future of how many subscribers you have, in the future of the revenue, things like that. Okay, So that is the difference. So now you probably want to know, like, oh, should I use only leading indicators? No, 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 no. You need to use both. Obviously, there are requirements for you to have lagging indicators due to accounting requirements. So you need to know what your revenue was. You need to report on that. But regardless of that, you want to know. So the lagging indicators basically are like a baseline for you to measure against, right? So 2019 sales are the baseline for 2020 and 2021. Are you growing or not? The only way to know is you're measuring that. They are good, you need them. But without the leading indicators, you might get into surprises. You can, you might not catch the actual status of your business in time. And that's why they are so good to know. Obviously, it's a lot harder to define the leading indicators that they are lagging because we've been defined lagging indicators forever. But make an effort to find your leading indicators. Make an effort to find your North Star because it will help you predict the status of your business later on. Now, let me know if you're enjoying these type of videos. Let me know if there are any topics that you would like me to talk about. We could talk about uh, gathering uh, requirements for your data collection. We could talk about how to have a data collection plan. We could talk about the gathering requirements for your 
business intelligence project we could talk about how to define KPIs, like how to measure anything. I've talked about it before. But we could talk about so many things. So let me know if there's something that you are specifically interested in. Let me know if this type of video is something that interests you. Just like it or uh, write a comment, just to prefer. And I will see you again on the next video. So enjoy your day. See you soon.